Oh yeah, Shane Doc South here. One more, uh, <laughs> one more time. You know something? I just got to thinking. I I don't know if I should alert the people at uh, Guinness Book of World Records, um, but I might be a contender. I don't know. I might. Then again, there's probably some. Oh, there's probably someone somewhere else that took the uh, this potential uh, honor from me, but. I don't know. I was sitting in my uh, car at work the other day. That's usually where I go and sit and have my lunch, even if it's a cold day out or or it's too hot. I still, I don't know. I just kind of like to sit out in my car, maybe catch a little bit of the news or whatever. And not every day do I eat, uh, am I there long enough at work to get a lunch? You have to be, I think, over six hours worth of work. And then, yeah, then they have you, they insist you go take a half hour lunch break, which is fine. No, no big whoop. But uh, I was sitting there the other day munching away at a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I, it just hit me. I think I have had peanut butter and jelly for lunch whew, out there in the parking lot for at least, at least uh, 150 days now. Yeah. Now, again, not continuous. I mean, uh, in other words, I can't say that I've I've had peanut butter and jelly when I'm at when I'm home or if uh, if I'm there just so short a day that I don't get lunch at work at the supermarket. But other than that, other than that, uh, whenever I've had lunch, yeah, it's uh, it's the old PB and J for me. Um, And bless Sandy's heart. She thinks enough of me to make one up for me. But no bologna, no salami. Well, I can't sit in the car. You know, maybe this time of year in the winter, but you don't want to get in that. That would be kind of a bad habit, uh, whew, you know, in the summer. <laughs> get yourself a nice case of uh, bologna dysentery. I don't, not a good thing. So I'm debating what the heck. I may have to continue because I've got to look it up. There's got to be something, the Guinness Book of World Records, you know, continuous PB&Js for, uh, you know, did for 150 days. That's got to be close to a record. I mean, I suppose there might be some guy out in Des Moines or something who's had PB&J every day for lunch, you know, since he, he he's he's 58 now and he's been eating them since since he started the job at the at the mill there back, you know, when he was 21. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm, I've got to be a contender. I got to at least be second. I, I would think we we'll have to look into this. Maybe one of you know how to look for that kind of thing on the web. If so, please say, uh, yeah, doc South show at yahoo.com. My email. I'd like to know, but, uh, whew. yeah, it's usually grape jelly. That's one thing, because it's almost always grape jelly. Uh-huh. Always grape jelly, and it's always uh, skippy. Mm-hmm. And it's on usually some kind of uh, Italian bread. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. No, I, uh, today I don't have one. I'm going to eat out at lunch today. And also, I'm not, I don't think I'm there for six hours, so I won't get a lunch. But other than that, Sandy sees to it. She should be, be chasing me down the uh, down the driveway. With uh, with the sandwich in her hand. Hey, you forgot your lunch. <laughs> so, oh yes, thank you, dear. And frankly, I don't mind. I kind of it wouldn't be lunch without a, uh, yeah, without a, you know, a whole bunch of uh, jam and peanut butter stuck in my teeth. I it's um, I got no I got no gripe, but I I think it's it's been a while now since I've had something else for lunch out there in the car. Hmm. Going to have to look into it. Well, bless Sandy's heart anyway. I I got a pretty good wife. You get right down to it. She's seeing to it that I at least put on a few pounds. I think that's part of it. I've gotten so darn light now that I'm getting older that um, she, uh, I think she's, yeah, she's worried that, I, that her husband might get lighter than her, although that would be hard to do. I don't think Sandy's even 98 pounds uh, soaking wet. She's tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, she'll. She can put a hurt on you, but she, <laughs> but, 
<laughs> she, you know, I should see to it that she has a PB and J too. Get a few pounds on both of us. Wouldn't hurt. I mean, I don't want to walk around looking like, you know, like that, but 18 double chins and stuff, but geez, maybe a few more pounds. Getting kind of scrawny. Well, in any case, uh, I just, uh, in honor of my wife and her, her dedication to uh, seeing to it that her husband gets fed and that the peanut butter and jelly and bread factories don't go out of business, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, so be it. Yeah, now put a smile on your face, friends. Drink that coffee and frankly, I'm... I recommend the PB&J in this house, yes. See you later. God bless. Bye now.